going on guys? Welcome to episode 15 of the Fusion Media Hub, your gathering place for all the modern and retro game reviews. And the YouTube video reviews on the web. You all know me, I'm Jerry. And I'm Josh. Josh, we've got an awful lot to cover in this episode. Yes, we do. And I'd like to start out by saying a massive, massive thank you to everyone who's banded together and got us past the 200 subscriber threshold. We could not have done it without you guys, and Josh, it looks like Fusion Media Hub is going to live on. You're damn right. I'm so glad to. Glad to do this. Glad to bring you guys these episodes. Second on the agenda, we are launching officially today what's called the Fusion Media Network. What is that? Well, Josh, the Fusion Media Network basically is a big partnership amongst five channels. Those channels being Mike Gamer 16, Yoshi Tamario, Lindsay, The Alex from 1994, and Koshi Sushi. A lot of great talent, all in one network. And we're basically just going to be sharing videos, featured videos, subscribers, everything. One big network, one big happy family. Only the best. So basically, if you see a channel that has the Fusion Media Network logo in it, you know it's awesome. Damn straight. <sighs> Number three, let's get right to our modern gaming review this week. Do it. A game that's been getting a lot of jive lately. That much is certain. And it's actually a cross-platform game, which is something we haven't done in a while. So let's throw it over to Hugh to find out what this awesome game is this week. So quickly moving on from all of this, we are needing to talk about the Fusion Media Network. This isn't the Fusion Media Hub, but it isn't replacing the Fusion Media Hub. The Fusion Media Hub is the show. The network is a group of people who all kind of help each other out and get the best content to you guys who watch us. Now we have our own official website which is www. I'm sure you know that but fusionmedianetwork.co.uk and if you go there you will find links to all of the people in the networks and their channels. Um, the page where you can watch us live whenever me, Jerry, do live streaming and basically links to the show. The homepage will contain Twitter updates from all of the network members if they have it, the latest Fusion Media Hub video and basically constant news about what's going on, what we're doing and just to keep you guys updated. And I hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to be awesome with this, it is absolutely going to go big. So we have a forum on the way too so you guys can get involved. But tell us what you think in the description. In this episode we are going to be playing the awesome Assassin's Creed 2. I personally got this for Christmas and I've been at it long and hard since I got it. And we have a really good in-depth review for you, so let's go straight over to that and we'll see what we think, yeah? Taking a leap of faith into the renaissance that is Assassin's Creed 2 and here we are with the graphics. Stunning game, that's what I'm going to say. Very artistically done, very well done, great attention to detail, which we all know I like. Sun and Shadow in this game, Jerry and Hugh, absolutely gorgeous. No matter what city you're inside, you know, whether it's Florence or Venice, wherever you are, absolutely beautiful with the shadows and the sun coming through. And the way these buildings are created in this game is just masterfully done. I really enjoy it. Love the open world feel, and I don't know as if there's another game, maybe Grand Theft Auto, that captures that open world like this game does. Absolutely perfect. Love the day and night cycle. You see a lot of different things, whether, you know, if it's in the daylight that you may not see in the nighttime. And I just, you know, again, it's that attention to detail that really puts this game over the edge. Another thing that I feel like uh, Assassin's Creed does better than almost any other game that I've played is it captures the combat actions very well. You know, any kind of movement that you're in, whether it's uh, jumping on the walls, doing your leap of faith, all of that stuff. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. And, you know, this is a cross-platform game, and it doesn't matter what console you're playing it on. Very, very nice. I'm giving it a 9.5 trophies, Jerry. How is the sound? One thing I want to continue on with the graphics, and that I found really stunning, is you know when you do the Leap of Faith, it does that that zoom out flyby around oh, your character, that really captures the essence yeah, of the very graphics epic. and the scope yep. of all the levels. Moving on to my portion, the sounds. Really love the combat sounds in this game, especially the swords, uh, like hitting other swords. You can definitely tell between the sounds if it's a sword, if it's an axe, uh, hitting characters, hitting metal on metal, hitting love stone, etc. And uh, the use of echo in this game, there's a lot of echo 
which really adds to, like, especially in Venice, where there's a lot of corridors that you're fighting in and um, adds to that. Uh, and the environment sounds, like you said, graphics and attention to detail. As far as sound goes, you hear a lot of background chatter, like other guards talking to each other. And when you're fighting, you can hear screaming in the background. It's just, it's so diversified. It's very good. It's, the music is very easy on the ears in this game. It's not overbearing. It has kind of a Victorian classical style music. It's just, it's masterfully done, as you said. And the stabbing sounds. Oh, <laughs> like I said in the, My favorite. Like I said in the Borderlands review with the shooting, <laughs> gotta love that squishy stabbing sound. It's just so gratifying. And uh, the music is just epic. All together, this game is fantastic. Sound design, beautiful. I give it nine trophies. Hugh, how's the gameplay for Assassin's Creed 2? So in Assassin's Creed 2, basically it sees you going through around the 1400s in Italy. And it has a very deep storyline. The storyline is one of the best things about this game. It's so deep. It's a great story that nearly anybody can follow with. And it also provides you with a lot of facts along as well. And people may say, oh, I don't want to read about Italy and that kind of stuff. Well, it's really interesting. They've got some awesome stuff in there. Now, moving on to the other fact of it is basically the parkour or free running kind of side of it. There's The maps are brilliant. You constantly unlock things. You have to what they call synchronize with bits, which unlocks more areas. And to do that, you go to the highest bits of areas and basically look at them. Um... But yeah, there's always somewhere to go, there's always new places to explore. There's a lot of side missions really keeping you entertained and keeping you having something to do if you don't fancy following the main storyline along. So, with this variety that it gives you, and especially the design, the design is one of the best things for me, I'm going to give Assassin's Creed True a 9. So guys, the overall and the quick recap of what we gave for Assassin's Creed 2. Now, graphics was a awesome 9.5, sound was a 9, and mine was the same, gameplay was a 9. I've kind of been thinking about it, and as I always say, there's not really any mathematical adding to how I get the overall. I just kind of judge it on what I think it deserves as a game itself instead of the single element. And I would also give this an overall of 9. So. Pretty much nines across the whole board on this one. Great game, and if you haven't bought it or you've got cash left over for Christmas, I definitely recommend that you get this one. It's a great buy. You know, one thing that really amazes me with a lot of these new games like Assassin's Creed and uh, Infamous, for example, is the scope of the sandbox environment. Massive. I absolutely, absolutely love it. Massive. It's Never ending. Immerses you. Anyway. We're moving on to our YouTube portion, and what do we have this week, sir? This week we have a video about a fat kid. They're funny. And roller coasters. They're fun. Exactly. Combine the two and you got funny fun. Alright, and it is entitled Fat Kid on Roller Coaster. Over 4 million views. It's a lot. It's doing awesome. It's a lot of views. Rightly so. Uh, and it was uploaded by Chokes01, at least the video that we pulled. And uh, I really can't wait any longer. Let's get right to the video. Okay. Australia's Funniest Home Videos. Okay. <laughs> well, we're on some sort of ride here. Yep. Roller coaster. Oh. Oh, wow. I've. It doesn't look like a roller coaster to me. No, it looks like some sort of <laughs> slingshot thingy. <laughs> oh, look at the kid. Oh, my God. Look at the kid. He looks like a marshmallow. <laughs> He's getting strangled right now. It's like the Michelin man just like tucked right into the seat. She's living it up too. She oh, cannot yeah. stop laughing. No, she loves it. Had this been a serious situation, <laughs> she's, she's grabbing still... his arm like she could hold him up. Come on. The Come G forces on. alone would just squash her. <laughs> Oh, and it does man. really look like he's going to fall out. Oh, yeah. You, and you wonder what's below him. I mean, it looks like they're sitting in a chair, so he's not going anywhere. But Yeah, is there like a platform? or <laughs> He looks terribly <laughs> uncomfortable. And he's, oh, he is so relieved that the ride's over, too. <laughs> and actually, I think it's his weight that saved him in this. <laughs> that enormous gut. Oh, God. Wow. Unbelievable. Oh my god, seriously. I absolutely love this YouTube video. I've known about it for quite a long time. And um, 
you can't you kind of at the start don't think he's gonna go that far and then he really actually gets up to there like out of the seat but anyway no, oh god i do love that video so that is an awesome goodbye from me josh and jerry from the fusion media hub we hope to see you next time and yeah why don't you uh, get involved with our new fusion media network guys leaving on a good night we'll see you later website is in the description